Hi everyone, it's Natasha and welcome to my video and my channel. If you are new to my channel in regards to this is your first time watching one of my videos, I share um, all my experiences, all of my honest opinions. It's a lot of reviews <clears throat> in regards to, um, again, experiences, my opinions, um, reviews on items, um, services, and um, interaction with different companies. So what I want to talk about is my Louis Vuitton Speedy Ventier in the size 30. So I have it right here because I am seven weeks postpartum. That means postpartum means after birth. So um, I have given birth to my baby seven weeks ago. So um, I've noticed that the, um, I guess when I was, when, when I was um, near labor, I just thought that no way was just very convenient and it had a little bit more room for me. And I just like, I was just completely addicted and like completely obsessed with my Louis Vuitton No Way, or I think it's pronounced Noah. Um, and it's the regular size, which a lot of people refer to as the GM size. I usually don't because it doesn't really say it's the GM size. However, people refer to that because it is the biggest size, but it is the regular size of the No Way or No Walk, um, however you want to pronounce it. So I haven't used Miss Speedy ever since. It has been several weeks. Um, so I wanted to do a six month review of this. However, I, ha um, I gave birth to my baby around that time and I was recovering and I was too tired and I am still tired most of the time which is why I don't um I haven't made a lot of a lot of videos lately but you know I was able to squeeze this in my little baby is um asleep right now so um let's start before he needs me so this is my Louis Vuitton Speedy and it is in the um it's in a huge dust bag and it is in the monogram it's uh like i said it's in the bandier so it will have a strap however when i put it in my dust bag i never put the strap on i put it inside the bag and this is in the 30 size i don't know if it's the lighting but you can see it has kind of patina a little bit but i when i did have this um i was i was obsessed with this as well i did get this um I bought this around, let's see, end of March, I believe I bought, yeah. So I must have gotten it either end of March. Yeah, I, I got this end of March. I would, I would say it probably arrived to me close to like the end of the month. And I've loved it ever since. I probably started using this in the first week of April because um, what I do is I try to condition I try to, um, I will condition my vaquette leather and then I'll put the, um, the water and stain repellent because I just, I try to prevent as much as possible any kind of stains and, you know, with a brand new bag, that really is the biggest con when, it, when you get, um, a monogram with vaquette leather due to that. So what I wanted to do was show you guys with, let's just say... This would be, excuse me, this would be um, an eight month review. So anybody who is interested in the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the monogram, Bandier in the size 30, um, I wanna show you guys how it looks like now. I'm sorry, I was just touching my hair. I know there are some people there that were really annoyed that I was touching my hair, but you know what, it's my hair and I don't know if you don't like your hair I don't know but anyway um, I don't put I don't put hair products on my hair so it, it will move a lot um, so here you go let's start with oh, that's the back this is what I think the front is just because um, the LV logo and the flowers I mean the LV logo as, as I mean the flowers is gonna look the same you know either in the side either there it's gonna look the same anyway but um, so the LV logo is facing up, and that's what I believe to me, that's what I think is the front, 
and this would be the back. And that is because this is one full canvas right there. It, um, the original club organizer is in here and I stuff my bags when I leave them in the closet just so they don't lose their shape. Some people don't do that. I do that for my bags. It's, you know, it's not mandatory or anything. Um, I have, I do have like um, vintage bags that, um, and that I've, you know, I, I've, that's been passed down to me. They're older than, they're older than me, some of them. Um, so what I've noticed is it can warp if you don't take care of it. It's kind of like anything you really own, especially like luxury goods. Like if you owned like a Mercedes, you're not just going to keep it out of the rain and not really clean it and not really um, put the protection on it. I mean, that's stupid, right? You're still going to take care of it. So it's the same concept with my Louis Vuitton bags. So let's see here. This is the zipper, and the Bandier does have two zippers. The uh, regular Speedy has one zipper, and it has the Vacant Leather um, pull tab. I don't really like that because, um, you know, leather can deteriorate as, as, and I mean, as fast as metal. And if you think about it, you're going to use that so, con I mean, so much when you're opening and closing it. I have seen a lot of the regular speedies actually the vaqueta broke off because of that because it's just so much wear and tear. Um, I mean, even for me, I I only really gravitate to full zip top bags. Only the Noe or the Noah is the only one that I have that is not, that is not fully zip top. And oh my gosh, sometimes I'll just in the in the same minute. I, will, I can't, I have opened and closed my bag four or five, six times. This isn't the same minute. Like I will open it and I will look around and then I'll close it and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot there's another thing I need to get. I'll do it again and again and again. It has happened. I'm not saying it happens every time, but it has happened. So let's see. The glazing is still intact in the front. There is a little bit of peeling but it's not too bad there's a little peel yeah you can see it this like transparent stuff over here that's a, a little bit of peeling on the glazing which is fine um i don't really think i need to send this to louis vuitton to get it fixed the glazing itself is not pulling apart it's i think the film on top of the glazing um let's see the canvas is pretty perfect, which is expected. This because canvas, the the Louis Vuitton canvas. I'm not talking about other canvases of other designers, contemporary or designer or um, or luxury or whatever. Um, Louis Vuitton canvas is the toughest material you could use, especially for bags, even for shoes. Um, that's just how it's made. I think I believe what I was told this was treated. Uh, the Louis Vuitton canvas is treated a hundred times I believe before they make it into their products so it's pretty um, hardcore tough and that's really what it's made of it's made of being thrown around it's made of that you can I mean you can throw it around um, and it shouldn't damage it obviously if you're gonna stab it it will get a hole I mean that's just common sense but you know it's not bulletproof glass or anything but you know, if you put it in fire, of course, it's gonna, it's gonna burn. But what I'm saying is if you throw it around, it's not one of those um, materials that there is a high probability of it going to rip. Like if you throw a leather shoe, um, well, depending on it, on the grade, but a lot of times it's gonna get a scratch. This would kind of be hard to get a scratch. So when it does get a scratch, it's kind of, I don't know what you did. But anyway, it's still pretty good. It's it, the canvas is in immaculate condition and this is the back right here. Um, I'm going to do the back um, handles so you can see them. Um, this right here, it's just kind of, I don't know why, but if you, I'm going to put it in side view. If you can see that it's kind of going up. I don't know why that's doing that, but it is. And this one is a little bit doing it too. I'm going to do it this way. Slightly going there. Um, and I've noticed all of them, sorry, I've noticed all of them are doing the same thing. So, um, 
I mean, it is what it is. Does it bother me? No, it is kind of annoying. Um, but you know what? I'm going to be using this. I'm not going to be just staring at that part and it's not really going to bother me that much. But anyone else that might bother you, you're just going to have to see if you really want to get a speedy or you want to get something different. But this has nothing to do with the quality. It's more just this is what leather does. So, you know, wear and tear. So let's see the sides. This is also the kettle leather. The piping here is the kettle leather. Um, you have to consider that the more of a kettle leather you have, yes, it is a lot more high maintenance, but it also covers, um, it also covers like, uh, for, I mean, it also covers the corners and it prevents fraying. Now, a lot of people get concerned about this part because it doesn't have, it doesn't have this. It doesn't have the kettle leather, um, trim and a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't like it. It's a personal preference. Now, the pros and cons of having it. The pro is that it will protect the canvas in the long run. The con is it will, if you, you know, you'll have a harder time making sure it doesn't get stained, it doesn't get dirty because it is kind of a pain once you try to clean up any kind of problem on it. You can prevent it and there's so many ways to prevent doing that, but I mean, that was another problem with me with the Palermo because the Palermo had the, um, the vaquilla leather on the top and I noticed that there are just certain times that I don't really care and I would hold on to the side and it would it started to get a little dirty or dirtier than the rest. It didn't really match a lot. So I didn't really like that part. Um, but again, the con of not having it is it could crack which a lot of other bags do have that on their corners, but I don't really think that's gonna happen. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. The other issue is if you have a flaw on your canvas, Louis Vuitton will not repair that. They, it's like a cancer to them. Like a, yeah, it's like a cancer, um, a malignant tumor or a cancer that is probably stage four and it's just irreparable for them the the zipper they will they will repair the leather they will repair but the canvas they will not so just you know take care of your canvas so now I'm gonna open the bag and as you can see like I said I stuff it so I can take these out and I can show you the strap here we go. You can see the strap right here. That's what it looks like. It's not very shiny anymore. And it's only, I mean, it's a little bit shiny, but I mean, it's supposed to look kind of dull, but already, it already has marks on it. You can see that. Yep, there you go. You can see it right there. Yep. And this is just the zipper, you know? I mean, I'm sorry. This is just the strap. And it has a little bit of stain on this. This is from the other part of the strap. So this is this is just what it looks like. So you guys can see. You can see right there. And all the stains, it's because of the strap rubbing against each other. So you can see that. That doesn't really bother me. I mean, it did in the beginning. Every single flaw that I get on my Vaquetta, every time, um, as, you know, especially when it's a brand new bag, it does hurt a lot. I'm going to be very honest with that. However, after that first problem, it's like, ugh, I don't care anymore. I mean, it's my bag. I love it, you know. So here is the um, other one. So this one is the middle. That's why it's got a lot of um, stains on it because it will rub on this other one, the the other strap here and this other strap here. So you need these hooks to attach to the D-ring on the outside. So this is what it looks like right here. This is the other strap. I'm gonna do it as slowly as possible. Right there. And yes, I think these are watermarks. I don't know. 
but they look like it's just a little bit of discoloration. Um, it's weird. I'm going to show you. It's a different color. The hook and um, the buckle has like a different kind of tone of gold. I don't know why they do that, but they do. And I mean, it bothers a lot of people. Does it bother me? Not really. The buckle does match with the zipper and the D-ring is in between the zipper and the hook. Again, I don't know why they do that. A lot of, it does bother a lot of people. It doesn't really bother me. I don't know why so many people get bothered on like a lot of the teeny tiny details. I mean, I get it. You're, you're buying something incredibly expensive, you know, and for a lot of people, this can be a month's rent. Some, some places in the country, this can be two months rent, maybe three, probably three at some places. But, um, People think that when they're buying something like a Louis Vuitton or like something like luxury, they think it's just completely perfect and it's like bulletproof. That's not really the case. But anyway, um, so here it goes. This is the hook. And you can, you can put it which way you want. I, there's a lot of people that like have rules on how they put their straps on there. I don't really get that. It's a strap, it's a strap. But... Anyway, this is it. And then there are again some stains on there, but you also have to consider that this is gonna be the most exposed when I use this. And this is of course from the um, buckle. Because when I'm wearing, and I'm gonna demonstrate how I use this. This is the third part of the strap. This is the hook right here. And both hooks have lube on on it. I think it's upside down. I just don't stare at it, you guys. When I do make my videos, I do um, notice all the teeny tiny details because, you know, I buy it from the store. I just, you know, I just. What I do look at is that uh, I make sure there isn't really any flaws in, in that. Like when I first get them, I do prefer getting them online than at the store just because I've had the mistake of doing that with my Rivington and it was the display. And they just immediately, she said, this is our last bag. And I knew for a fact, because I could tell that that wasn't really true, but I don't know, I'm just not gonna do that again. You know, cause I, whatever. I'm just not gonna do that again. I'm just gonna go buy my, my items via online. Because it comes from a warehouse. It's not being touched by people that might want to buy it. It's not on display all day or how many weeks. So anyway, here we go. I would think like if it's a display bag, you could get a little bit of discount. Excuse me. Or like, I don't know, a free small item like a keychain or something. Because it's a display bag. But, ugh. But anyway, this is the other strap right here. And I can actually see a lot of wrinkles. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. Okay, it's not because of the lighting, but there are a little bit of like fine lines, like fine wrinkles, but that doesn't really bother me. What bothers me is when it might crack. So what I usually do before I use any of my bags, um, I prepare like days to a week before and what I would do is I would condition it I would condition it for a few days depending on how I think I you know it's just your personal preference and if I think I need to condition it for a few days because I want to let it rest and um, breathe and absorb after that um, I do my protection for my leather and then I'm gonna use it. So I, I give myself a few days to a week. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to attach my straps and I always do all three. Some people don't wanna do all three sometimes, I do. I need the extra, um, the extra space. I don't like my bag too tight on my arm. I just, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. it like, it makes me wanna throw the bag out, seriously. 
if I, you know, if I, that's why I don't have the Aina or Jenna or Yena, whatever you want to pronounce that. That's why I don't have that. And I'm going to stuff this just so you guys can see what it looks like when it's full and it has the full shape. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to show you guys. This is the um, original club organizer. So, um, I saw that there are, I mean, the Aina bag, it is so beautiful. I just kind of wish they made a bag similar to the Aina or the um, Jenna or whatever it's called. Or Aina or Aina, whatever. Aina, I think. Similar to that, but the strap is the strap drop. Let's just say the strap drop for that is 10 inches. I would want the strap drop to be like 14, 15 inches. That would be amazing. If they had something like that that kind of bag, like the Aina bag, that big, um, with a longer strap, I would definitely buy it. It would definitely be on my wish list, but they don't have that. Um, they have this new bag called the All-in-One. And again, the strap is not really that long because I looked at it and it was so beautiful. Um, for right now, I am very interested in the bigger bags because I'm a mommy now and I've noticed that when I leave the house with my little one, I have to prepare and get myself his stuff as well as mine. So I need to get a changing pad and to get um, at least one or two pieces of his clothing, one or two, three pieces of diapers, white, um, baby wipes, um, and anything else he might need. So I need to have the extra room. So the 30 doesn't really, I, um, I am contemplating on getting a 40 because maybe the 35 is not that big and I'm not very close to store and I don't want to just have to return that and wait for my refund and then have to, it's just a hassle. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like in the front. Just my hair out of the way. This is what it looks like right there. Sorry guys, I'm like fixing my pants. This is what it looks like in the front right here. Let me just get that right there on my side. Right there. Let me get that to even out from the back. Right there. From the other side, this, I'm gonna pull my hair up so you guys can see. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see it. My, my stomach is like hiding it a little bit, but it's the it's the design of my pants. It adds a little bit of um, what is that? A little bit of um, space because it like it's a fold over pant. I like it though. I don't really mind that it gives me a little bit of belly just because of that. So here, you can see a little bit of the bag and then the front again. So there you go. I'll get my chair back. Um, I know if anyone is curious, is it worth it to have the Speedy band -Aid in the Bandier instead of the regular Speedy? Um, it's a personal preference. If you're one of those top handle people um, and you're fine holding because holding the Speedy 30, because this can be heavy. Depending on how much you're going to put in it, it can be very heavy. Like an iPad Mini 2. I put it in there, it is teeny tiny, it is slender, it is heavy. I can put something like it consumes half the bag and it's not even as heavy as the iPad Mini 2. So you have to consider what you're really going to put in your bag. Um, to me, I don't know, maybe just my arm is just not, I just don't like doing that. I'm not used to top handle bags anymore, I think. Um, ever since I stopped um, using top handle bags, I just, I prefer the one with the shoulder. I just, it's just a personal preference. So, there you go. 
it is still in great condition. And just because I said that you, you know, you can throw her on a canvas bag, that doesn't mean I do that. Okay. <laughs> I do not throw my, uh, my bags around. I don't, I'm not really going to do that, but I'm not one of those people that will put like a blanket or a towel underneath their bag. Um, when they put it somewhere, I'm not going to do that either. So I do take care of my bags, but I don't go too crazy about it. Um, to me, it is worth it with the strap, the, the few hundred dollar difference. It's worth it to me because it's very convenient. If I got the regular Speedy, I think I would never want to use it. Again, it's my personal preference. I prefer a strap and not just a top handle. Um, I don't think I have any top handles. I have shoulder bags and I don't really use those a lot except for the Noe or the Noah. But that kind of shoulder bag Ha, is the strap is really long enough that even if I wear a coat, a thick coat, um, it's not going to be too tight right here. I hate it when it's too tight in the armpit. I don't know if people feel the same way, but I hate it. I sometimes even get like bigger, uh, uh, bigger tops because I don't want it to be like too tight here. It just makes me so uncomfortable, and it makes me want to. I makes me want to just throw my sweater or whatever shirt I have on. I'll just, I just want to throw it out. I don't know how there are so many people that like to wear cap sleeves. I hate those. I hate that because it just kind of, I feel like it's like digging in my armpit right here or right here and it just, ugh, it just grosses me out. So anyway, yes, I do. Um, I love this bag. And if anyone is thinking of getting a speedy in the bandier and you are not a very top handle kind of person, I would say go ahead and get the Speedy Bandier, whatever size you want, because you really are going to save a lot of trouble in regards to having some other people would just hold it like this the whole time. I'm not really like a crook in the arm type of person like this, but even if you want to do this, you have the ability to do it in the Bandier and you have a strap. You can always detach this anyway and put it in or just kind of dangle it out. I have done it this way. I have held it this way and I am, um, I'm five, five. I forgot to mention that I'm five, five. So, and I have done it this way too. And I think it looks fine. Um, I'm five, five. So when I do hold it like this, it doesn't really hit the ground. It's probably six, seven inches off the ground. I don't know. Well, it doesn't hit the ground. It doesn't matter. It doesn't hit the ground anyway. So that's the part that matters. So I'm fine with that. Um, the con to me is having a speedy bandier in the um, monogram. The con for me is probably it's a black hole if you don't have an organizer. That is the only reason why I have an organizer. I don't really care. I mean, I don't really mind if it has the slouch look or not. I don't care about any of that. My biggest problem of not owning a Speedy was, I think I had a Speedy or I borrowed a Speedy from someone and it, or maybe I had one. I don't remember. I think I had it in the Damiazer too. Um, I had the Speedy 30 Damiazer or, um, I, or someone gave it to me. I don't remember. A lot of it but I don't have it so I think it I think it was either a gift or I borrowed it um, I think I might have borrowed it and or maybe it was like someone told me okay I don't really use this bag anymore I want it to be used you know blah 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 take it and give it back to me in like whatever time um, it wasn't a rush or anything so I did use it and I remember it was just annoying to kind of hold it this way everywhere it was just annoying and um, I would do this and it was just kind of like it felt like it was in the way of everything and I just didn't like that I mean if you can see my frame I'm not really that thick I'm not very tall so uh, it just I don't know I just don't like it I feel like if I was maybe a little bit wider or taller maybe it wouldn't be as uncomfortable. I don't know, but that, I mean, that's my personal opinion. Um, 
And I, I mean, I'm probably wrong. Maybe my size and my height doesn't really matter. But to me, it was very uncomfortable. I used it for like a month. I returned it, very upset about it because um, I thought, I, oh yeah, it, it was a lender. And I was thinking if I do love the bag, I'll probably buy an Azure. I didn't really like it. Um, I, uh, I give it back to someone. And um, they said that that was another thing that they didn't like about it either. And that was their only speedy, regu like regular speedy that didn't have a bandier. Um, I think at the time the bandier didn't exist yet and that was their only speedy. Um, and that was also their only Demi Azure. And they want, I guess, they wanted me to see, you know, if it was just their own opinion and it wasn't like someone else might not enjoy it either. But, and also, um, there was a time in which I used to just like top handle bags, but at the time I kind of stopped for a few years. So, um, again, so I'm kind of going too far away from it. But anyway, that is my only comparison to a Speedy regular. And from my experience, from that experience that I had it for a full month and I used it, I number one, I didn't like that it was a black hole. I didn't know there were organizers. Maybe at that time there wasn't because this is probably like 10 years ago. Probably longer than 10 years ago. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that I couldn't put it on my shoulder if my arms or my hands or my wrist, my forearm or my upper arm was getting a little tired. I was, um, and the crook of my arm was getting tired, like right here. So I didn't really like that. Even if I moved both of it, I was just getting too tired. I didn't have the extra ability to put it over my shoulder. I didn't like that part. And the other part was, you know, like I said, it was like a black hole. So when you would open it without an organizer, I, oh my gosh, it, it felt like I would, if I would look for like, a lip gloss or a lip balm or a pen or a mirror or um, a candy or um, whatever I'm looking for. It felt like I was looking for it for five years. I was probably looking for it for five minutes, but it felt like five years. And it was just so frustrating. There were times, I, I, now I remember, there were times using the regular Speedy 30 I think it was a 30 or a 35 um, that what happened was I thought the item that I had I didn't have it anymore so I would keep buying the same item and when I took all my stuff out of the speedy I had like four or five the same item it was ridiculous and because of that I didn't buy a speedy until this year can you imagine that? And I think it was at least maybe, I'm thinking it was more than 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and because of that, I just, oh God, it was over 10 years ago. I, I don't remember anymore, but it was a while ago. So because of that, I, I really did, I really deterred from the suite itself. And then I remember when I went to the store and I saw, because they had the Speedy Bungier, and I saw it and I wanted to see one in the Demi Ebene, and the SA was just really rude and ignored me and um, didn't really want to show me the bag because <laughs> I wanted to buy it, but yeah. That was another thing that really deterred me to buy the Speedy Bungier. Um, uh, I think I think I just kind of ran out of options and which bag to get and I kind of thought I want to get a bag um, I wasn't sure which one and I wanted to get like a specific size and I think only the speedy 30 was kind of fitting the size that I was looking for and I did get it and voila here we go speedy budget in the 30 now I've been looking for other videos in comparison of the Speedy 30 and 35 in regards to what can fit. I haven't seen a video doing that, so it makes me worry if I do get the 35 that it's not going to fit all the things that I want in it because I want to be able to use it all year round and enough room 
for me, my baby, and possibly mine and his winter gear. So I'm thinking um, the next speedy I'm going to get, I'll probably skip the 35 and go to the 40. I really do love the speedy, you guys. Um, and now I understand why there are so many people that are in love with the speedy because of that. Um, so what my top three right now for wanting to get a different bag or a different Louis Vuitton item is the Louis Vuitton agenda and the monogram in the GM. I'm still on the fence with that. Um, the Speedy 40, the speed, uh, the, in the monogram again, and the Turnell MM. And for whatever reason, um, the videos that I've seen online for all the three items doesn't really answer all my questions. So anyway, I got lost track again. I'm sorry, postpartum brain. So this is it. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. I know this got a little bit longer than it should. Um, and let's go back a little bit. I'm sorry. Let's go back a little bit. Do I recommend this bag? Yes, very much so. If you are on the fence between the Speedy Regular versus the Speedy um, Bandier, I would recommend the Speedy Bandier because of the strap. It will really, really give you extra options as well as um, it won't be as frustrating. But if you are one of those exclusively top handle people, you don't really like straps, you don't, I mean, you, you're used to it, you're not going to get tired, you're not going to, your arms aren't going to hurt, I would still recommend this because you never know what's going to happen in the future and you can always attach the strap when that day happens in which you want the strap on and you want it to have a different look. So it's kind of like having two bags in one, you know, isn't that great? Like one purchase for two bags. So anyway, um, thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching my eight month review of my Louis Vuitton Speedy in the monogram in the size 30. Um, I was supposed to make this review a little over a month ago, but things happen. So Thank you guys. I hope you are you like my video and I hope you subscribe to my channel and leave some comments below for me to read and enjoy them. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.